I like the light and the shadow of the city and the slow pace of life. The streets are filled with fascinating individuals and there are rich displays of culture on every corner. My name is Jake Homovich, a photographer who has lived in Chengdu for more than 10 years. I was intrigued by the basket on the old man's back. Later, I came to find out it's an important tool used for all sorts of things here in China. Qingxin County is rich in bamboo forests due to the abundant rainfall. Nearly 100 kinds of bamboo are found here, covering 47,000 square kilometers of land. The people here are content and living a simple life. Bamboo woven items are a special product of Qingxin County. This type of handiwork has a long history of exquisite detail and craftsmanship. Each bamboo product showcases a unique form of craftsmanship and reflects the harmony between man and nature. Here, everyone can be considered an artist. It is hard to imagine that this easygoing and friendly old man in front of me has many impressive titles to his name. The Qingxin bamboo weaving starts by cutting down bamboo. The craftsmen go through a series of processes to make bamboo strips as thin as silk, dividing the bamboo strips into filaments which are thinner than a human hair. After this process is completed, it can be used to weave a multitude of amazing bamboo products. For 50 years, Mr. Chen remained the same. His hands rise and fall, weaving his threads into intricate masterpieces. In his bamboo forest, Chen Shifu practices his own version of cultural art making, infused with a sense of childlike imagination. In this way, he builds fantastic creations. Before leaving, I asked him if he had any other hobbies other than weaving. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, he was also into photography as much as I am. Eventually, I realized that we all have our own individual ways of bringing life to art.